Right, Welcome in to FAU Spring Game. We have the white team going up against the red team. So many storylines to look out for. The QB battle, Tyreek Starks, Michael Johnson Jr., and Cam Frencher. How is you Barry Mobley going to look in his junior season? Going to be the guy in the running back room. And lastly, we're going to be looking out for some defensive weapons that can keep up their success from last year with the departures on the defensive line with Evan Anderson and our leading secondary players in Jalen Wester and Jerron Morris departuring. There are some new guys in the portal that are going to need to step up. Can Desmond Tisdall keep up his success in the secondary? Is Jalen Wheeler going to be the guy on the defensive end? You're going to see this all coming up on the spring game. It's coming up very soon. So let us know your thoughts before we get started. Currently, the red and the white team are both on the field talking to each other as of right now. Taking a look right now. Yep. And we, we're we seeing some punts being practiced currently and some kicks. I expect the captains to take the field. So, rules, how this is going to work. The first half is going to be a running clock, I believe, which means – At max, it's 30 minutes. So there's going to be no timeouts. It's just going to be like a running clock, you know? So 15 minutes first quarter, 15 second quarter. In the second half, we expect to see some drives where the red and the white team start at the opposing team's 20-yard line to practice some red zone drives to see some plays. And we are super excited for this to get started. It looks like Michael Johnson Jr. and Tyreek Starks will be the quarterbacks for the white team. And Camp Rancher, the Marshall transfer, who sources say they believe that he's leading right now to become the guy for this FAU football program, is going to be t- starting for the red team. Zuberi Mobley are going to be our leading running back. He dealt with some injuries last year, but he is back, ready to go. With Larry McCannon and Kobe Lewis, I believe, departuring, he is going to be the guy. Okay, so we have Tyreek Starks and Cam Rancher both on the red team. So we expect them to switch drives. So the top two guys are both on red. And then Michael Johnson Jr., more of the mobile quarterback, is going to be on the white team. So that's going to be very interesting. We're going to see who wins out this QB battle. And some key guys to look out for, Xavier Terrell. He will be on the white team, number 25. He was our, what was he, a freshman running back last year. He's going to make a big leap now to becoming that second guy in the running back room, Elijah Brown. Five-star recruit, transfer from Alabama. He is going to have to take a big step up. We are ready. Both teams are going to be taking snaps soon. So currently the white team is out there taking some practice drives. We see Camp Rancher throwing the ball out to Tom Herman right now charlie fry out there and tom herman okay so you have two sides of the field on the left side is the white team taking snaps right now and it's camp rancher and it looks like he is handing it off to xavier tillman and this is just practice right now and on the right side you have the red team who is just taking some practice field goals and we see michael johnson jr in there being that guy as the quarterback super excited to see what's in store for us here we see tom 87 in the chat saying greetings from germany wow wow from Germany. Thank you for tuning in, man. What is it there, six? Well, we hope you stay 
for as long as you can. Desmond Tisdall, going to be the guy on the defensive end. For the white team, he is a linebacker, and he, this is his junior season. Going to be looking to make a huge jump up. We got guys coming in strong. One guy that I am really watching out for is Donovan Giles in the wide receiver room with the departures of both Jaquan Burton and Ojonte Wester. That's someone who can take a big jump up. And we have Jet Coleman, also a wide receiver. Jabari Smith is going to be huge. So we are excited to see what's in store for us today. Let's see the receivers on the red team. So, on the red team, some receivers I'm looking out for are Joseph Young. He is a junior. He's going to be playing that slot type of guy who runs a lot of slants but can go on the post and goes on some out routes. So, let's see what is going on now. The clock says that the game is starting in 3 minutes and 10 seconds. So if you all have something in the chat, any questions, anything you want to add, now is the time. Currently right at the 50-yard line of the FAU field on the sixth floor. Perfect view. This is going to be awesome. As you guys can see, it is a beautiful day in Boca Raton if you're local to the area. One or two clouds in the sky trying to look up, and we are going to be seeing some good football. The main storyline, Tyreek Starks versus Cam Francher. They're both on the same team, the white team, or the red team. But can Michael Johnson Jr. be that sneaky guy that's a quarterback and can that can take over the starting spot? Well, you will see. Let's get this game started. 2.15 till game starts on the big jumbotron at the Schlembecker football field. We have the red team going the way of the south side and the white team going the way of the north. We have a bunch of fans in attendance, actually. Wish I could see, tell you guys here. Trying to um, see out the number. Yes, yeah, so we have about... We have a bunch of fans right now, actually, here today. So we have some in... Is that 102? I can't exactly read. We have some in 102, so... Let's get it. Hold up one sec, guys. Got to do some technical changes right here. Need the, the chair where we can see over things. Hard to see over this table right here. All right. Yeah, perfect view there. Perfect view. We can see the entire field now. So, Charlie Fry, the OC, is currently, like, next to the offensive line, and Cam Francher is still taking snaps. The lefty out of Marshall, and he finds Elijah Brown, who just drops the catch. This is still practice, just so you guys know. Um... Is that Starks taking snaps? Yes, that is Starks there, who hands it off to Caden Shield student. That guy is going to be a beast in the running back game. He's a freshman just coming in. Three-star recruit. He breaks through. Okay, it is time to start. Here we go. The first time we are seeing an FAU scrimmage of the 2024-2025 season. Thank you guys all for tuning in. Let's go.
All right, so currently the players are in lines. There's about four lines of 10 at the about 20-yard line. They're doing some high knees, butt kicks, just trying to get loosened up, some stretches. And now they are clapping. Tom Herman here doing that little warm-up song. Tom Herman going like that with his arms and the team following, stretching it out, doing some arm circles right now in in some warm-ups. So, yeah. It should be starting any second now. So currently there's seven minutes on the clock, uh, according to the Jumbotron. Zero, zero, red versus white. 12.09 p.m. if you're just tuning in on a sunny day in South Florida. Welcome into the stream. We got some FAU spring game coverage here on the FAU Owls Nest YouTube channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Leave a like on the channel. Watch out, guys. For a few guys that can be huge, especially in the secondary. I expect Desmond Tisdale to have an interception to keep up where he ended last season. Amari Eli Adams, he had a few interceptions, a bunch of tackles last season. I think his best game was the ECU game. Seven tackles and in, in, what, what was it, two picks or one pick? I know he had one. He will be on the red team with Cam Francher. I think the connection between Francher and Francher may have the best connection. I mean, currently when he's throwing in practice, he's throwing a lot to the tight end. Um, which is Wyatt Sullivan, number 17. He is a redshirt sophomore out of Atlanta, Georgia. So, still no coverage yet. The players are doing some lunges. And we've got a few right before the game starts. There's some more up. Stay in. Don't go anywhere. But we got some things to figure out real quick. One sec, guys. So currently, the guy who runs FAU has this Rick. He wants me to put the FAU like logo in the in the background, but it's like stuck. So we're just gonna figure out these technical difficulties real quick before we get fully into it. But if you're just joining us, live play by play for the FAU spring game: red team versus white team, coming up in about I'd say two or three minutes. Players are just doing warm-ups. So many storylines to look out for. Who's going to be the QB? Is it going to be Marshall Trencher, Cam Brancher, who started at Marshall, coming in as a redshirt junior? Could it be Tyreek Starks, started versus Rice last season, played pretty solid even though they lost? Or could it be the mobile quarterback, the one who's going to take off for 100 rushing yards per game, Michael Johnson Jr.? You're going to see. So, let's see what happens. So, as of right now, the FAU players are still just doing stretches. Don't know it's taking them so long to start. We're going to see. So the Jumbotron says it's starting any second. There's seven minutes put in the half clock. 
I expect there to be a running clock in the first and second halves. Sorry guys, I've been on mute talking just about the the quarterback battle right now. Cam Francher still throwing some passes theoretically, though the team is warming up. He is standing on the sideline right now. We see the kickers warming up right now. We got Morgan Suarez for the white team. He was on FAU last year, I believe, and he didn't get the job. And then on the red team, our starting kicker is Robert Hammond the third. That's going to be a battle we're going to all want to watch. Jason, Jason Platt, could he be a guy in the wide receiver room that has that connection with Cam Rancher, goes off for a couple touchdowns? We're going to see. We're going to see the relationship between the quarterback and these wide receivers. And we're going to see if FAU is going to be a run-heavy or pass-heavy team this next season. So let's get started here. Okay, so Tom Herman blows the whistle. Game is starting any minute now. Play-by-play, live play-by-play. For the FAU spring game. Thank you all who have tuned in. So right now the players are taking sprints from the end zone to the 40. Um, and Ed Warner, the O-line coach, he has four guys lined up against four guys on the Elon right now, who just post each other um, and then run into sled. That's sick. The FA, so they took out the FAU like logo in the middle of the field, and to the right of it, they have a sign that says 1.8 miles to the beach. Why you should come to FAU? 1.8 miles to the beach. Best weather in the country, Boca Raton, easily the best weather. Maybe you could make an argument for like San Diego or those other places in Southern California. But Boca Raton, it's close to the beach and it has about a high of 85 and a low of 70 almost every day from the March to May area. Let's look what it is today. Okay, we are starting. So all the players are huddling up. We see in the middle, we see Dakarius Hotha making a bit of a speech in the middle, pumping the guys up. Tom Herman leading the way here, getting the guys hyped up. And I'm hyped for this spring game. I am super hyped. Yeah, bro, like this is perfect. Boca Raton weather, high of 81, low of 65. Like, 
What else could you want? Wish I could show you guys right now. Charlie Fry's in the middle. He's basically slapping the floor, and then all the players are. And in the middle, we have some players, like, battling each other out, like, fighting. You know, like, going head-to-head. -head. The first one to touch the floor loses. Like, you know, like, it's physical hand contact. So, basically, there's a big circle, to put it best. Two guys join the middle. Herman points, two guys. They come in the middle and they tackle each other and try to push them to the ground or out of the circle. And the one who wins stays in. And the one who loses goes to the back. It's like a little competition I've seen them do in spring sometimes. This is just to get them fully hyped up. Like the D-backs. The D -backs. Sorry, guys, I'm not, I'm, I know I'm not talking that much. I'm just, there's nothing going on. We see Camp Rancher. Okay, there, there's Tyreek Starks. He's throwing the ball to a assistant on FAU who's throwing it back to him. I'm trying to see where Camp Rancher is, the other QB on the red team. I think he's on the outskirts of that circle right now. Oh, yeah, it's about to get started. While we're waiting, FAU fans, I'm going to give you guys some news on recruits. So, I've been talking with a lot of these recruits. I'm at FAU. I'm going to be the FAU Alzheimer's Recruiting Insider. going to be writing some articles. So, as you guys know, FAU lost eight guys. John L. Davis, Elijah Martin, Brennan Lorien, Nick Boyd, Jean Carlos Sato, Vlad Golden, Isaiah Gaines. So, a bunch of guys departed. Started. And FA used to get some new guys. And John Jake is, he, he's doing a great job right now. So he's fully contacted Jeremiah. Um, Jeremiah, let me find his last name. Okay, Jeremiah Hernandez has been contacted from FAU. His top five right now is Grand Canyon, James Madison, Duquesne, FAU, TCU. And he's going to visit Ball State on the 20th. Um, Southeastern Louisiana transfer. This is the guy I want, Roger McFarlane. He averaged um, 15 points and nine rebounds at Southeast Louisiana. He's heard from FAU Gonzaga and LSU, and those are the three he's considering. Kajai Parker is someone who's also considering FAU. He's a Florida A&M transfer. Um, Max Jones. Max Jones is someone I want to – Really see. Um, Max Jones is a guy from Cal State Fullerton. Um, Max Jones. So, if this FAU team can land uh, Roger McFarlane, and and Max Jones, we're gonna be good. Um, Dean Albury 
transfer from Queens College. He's been contacted by John Jakus. Some other guys that haven't fully been contacted but are interested, Mike Nwoko, Miami transfer, averaged three points at Miami. He's a freshman. He is a highly rated recruit. Alex Lloyd, five-star recruit, ranked number 30 in the class at 2024, according to ESPN's um, top 60, or 2025. And... He is considering FAU, FSU, and Dayton. So he's visited FAU. He hasn't really talked with the new coaching staff, but has talked with them. Okay, so the announcer said there's going to be four quarters. Still hasn't started. 12.25. Been waiting here since about 11.55. Oh, I really like um, Miro Little, someone I could see. Here we go. For those who are just joining us, the FAU spring game is starting up very soon. It was supposed to start at 12. They put three minutes on the Jumbotron before it actually starts. We see guys like Cam Franger and Tyreek Starks taking a snap. One second, we're going to get some technical difficulties fixed out. For those, for those just joining us, FAU Spring Game starting up in about two minutes and 40 seconds, according to the Jumbotron. So many storylines to look out for. Who's going to be the QB? Cam Francher, Tyreek Starks? Or is it going to be someone that can be sneaky like Michael Johnson Jr., the mobile quarterback? I think we are going to see a lot of storylines to look out for, and we're going to be seeing some position groups the spring game that will be battling it out. Coming up next, again, on the red team, both Cam Ranger and Tyreek Starks will be playing, which I expect them to split between drives. Michael Johnson Jr. will be the guy for the white team. Um, we're going to see some connections between the quarterbacks and receivers. Jason Platt, Oh. Uh, Wide receiver for the red team. He's a junior, kind of been waiting his turn, but this year I think he's going to pop off. So, as you guys just joining us, I see we got 50 people in here. Leave a comment, leave some questions before the game is started. Um, sorry if I'm not talking that much. There's, there's just, I mean, the game hasn't started yet. At the left end zone, we see... Cam Francher and Tyreek Starks taking some snaps. And on the right end zone is the offensive line with Coach Ed Warner. She's trying to rip through that thing, uh, the blue thing. So, yeah, thank you guys for joining. We are going to be live in a second. Just going to fix out some technical difficulties right now.
Here we go. The spring game has started. We see the red team starting it up on the defensive side. Out there is going to be Cam Francher. To his left, we see Zuberi Mobley. Fakes the handoff, throws it, and it is incomplete. Pass was intended for for Morvin Joseph. It's still Cam Francher in their third down and 10 on their own 25. Cam Francher to his left is... Cam Frencher throws. It's incomplete, and it is dropped by Kyler Lane. He had his hands on it, and he had a lane. He was in the slow. He ran a little slant route. Had his hands on it, wasn't able to hang on to it. That is a three and out for the white team, and the FAU red team will be receiving the punt. Out there to punt for the white team is Nick Shalom. Nick Salem out here to punt the special teams unit. Hasn't taken the field yet. But back deep for the red team is number 83, Omari Hayes. So here comes the punt. It's from their own 15, and it goes to the opposing 15's yard line. Great punt there by... Perfect. So as you guys can see, the FAU is in the background. So now taking the field will be the FAU red team. So I think this is messed up, my sheet, because it says Camp Ranger is going to be on the white team. I mean, he's going to be on the red team, but he's, he's not. I think it's Camp Ranger out there still. Uh, Tyreek Starks, he hands it off to Zuberi Mobley, who makes a spin move and gets about eight yards out there. Seven or eight yards. And he gets six. Second and four at their own six. Frazier snaps, hands off. He does Tyreek Starks, who hands it off to Zuberi Mobley, who gets about three. Third and six, one zero to the white team because they had a good punt, which is a point. Starks looking, throws, dropped again to Caleb Combs, who just dropped it there. Seems like this is also wrong. It says Caleb Combs is on white, even though he's on red. Logan Alupo, the FAU punter, out to punt for the red team. And the punt is received with a fair catch by... Kyle So we have got first down in ten here. White team has the ball. And it is Michael Johnson. Is that? 
Yeah, Michael Johnson takes off to his left, runs, and get a bit out of it. Tyreek Starks in there, taking the snap, a uh, shotgun set. Germani Jerm Sands is the running back. Hands out to Mary Sands. Gets about five, yeah, six yards out there. Stark drives left, right, looking, pass incomplete. It's still currently 1 0 for the white team. So far, I don't think there's been a completed catch yet, which is a bit concerning. Fourth down, Tyreek Starks. About to take the snap. To his left is Jemery Sands. Uh, Starks looking. Throws an out to Kyle Ling, who goes... Oh, he's at the 10, makes a move right, and it is a touchdown. Mylon Tucker, 41-yard touchdown pass. Mylon Tucker makes, an, makes a move on the defender, jukes him. He goes left. He gets the pass out about the 40 and takes it 40 yards to the end zone, and the white team First completion for Tyreek Starks is a touchdown. FAU white team dominating so far. And we have an injury out on the field. Super sad to see that. Who is it? Is this injury? Oh, we got an injury out here. on the field. Can't quite tell who it is, but he's getting up. And it looks like he's okay. Number 19 on the red team. It is... It is Wendell Filfer. He is a defensive back, five foot eight, grad student. Amari Hayes, punch it, and it's caught. Still one zero white team, even though they scored a touchdown there. How to take the ball in the offense is the red team. Francher is an out route. Makes a move. It is. His pass is complete there. 
out to Omari Hayes for 10 yards. Frencher hands it off. Frencher hands it off to Mobley, who makes a move. So that was Campbell Jr. Second and eight from the 41, Frencher looking, pass, complete. Again, Amari Hayes, great connection there with Amari Hayes. And it is a gain of three. Hayes with his second reception on the drive. Frencher. CJ Campbell takes it down for two yards, and that'll get him a first down. Franger fakes the handoff. Passes it over to Hayes. It's incomplete. Second down and 10. CJ Campbell takes the ball up, but he gets tackled by number 43, Garrett Gaines, who makes FAU's one yard. Third and 11 from FAU's 49, the red team's 49. Francher taking the snap. Francher looks back. He's looking. He takes off by himself. He goes left. No one could tackle him. He makes another man miss. And he gets the quarterback keeper 10 yard gain there for Cam Francher. One zero for the red team right now. Second and one from the thirty two yard line. Ranger hands it off, and it is a gain of five. CJ Campbell. Hand off to the left, a little HB draw there, inside zone. First down and 10 from the 24-yard line, Cam Francher going to take the snap here. To the right of him is Mobley and Francher. He says not hands it off to Mobley. Mobley spins. Mobley gets a great gain out of it. So Barry Mobley was the ball carrier. Francher 
snap. Here comes Francher. To his left is Mobley. He fakes the handoff. He looks left. Francher, he turns back right. He finds his guy who makes a move and gets the catch all the way down. It is Wyatt Sullivan, the tight end, and he gets a gain of 11, and they are at the white team's eight. First and goal from the eight yard line here. Francher to his left is Mobley. He fakes the handoff. He looks. He throws a lob in the end zone and it is deflected by Fabian Scott in the end zone. He gets a hand on it. Second down and eight for this FAU red team. Cam Francher going to take the snap to his left is Uberi Mobley. Francher snaps, looking left. Francher takes off and drives. QB draw. Francher gets all the way down with the, with the quarterback keeper to the five. Gain a three there for FAU. Francher looking, throws, caught, touchdown, FAU red team. It is Omari. It is Omari Hayes. Omari Hayes with his third catch on the drive. The connection between those two is growing. Omari Hayes. In his sophomore season, they are cooking together. And the extra point is good by the red team. It is Robert Hamden the third. So, I, I can't tell the score. It's not updating. I don't know how it works. It was 1-0 for the white team. The four. But, they, but both teams have scored a touchdown, a passing touchdown. He's out. So the white team here with the ball. Shotgun formation. It's a jet sweep fake HP dive and two yard gain there from the running back. It is Joshua Harriet. Umar Oh. <clears throat> Second down and 10. Francher with the ball. To his left is Joshua Omar. And it is a handoff where Kevon Walker gets about three. He's tackled by number 99, Prince Boy. Prince Boyd with a great tackle there. Brancher going to take the snap. To his left is Xavier Terrell. Here comes Francher. Francher looking left. Francher throwing it deep, and it is incomplete. It is tipped by 
Philip Donnan. Good deflection there from Philip Donnan. Nick Salmon on the punt. Can I try to update the scoreboard for you guys here? Apparently just commercial, right? Like not a commercial. But, um, not much going on. So, one, seven, one. Caden Shield Dutton, the freshman, with the ball carry, he gets a 13-yard gain on the play. It, it's Caden Shields Dutton again being the ball carrier. He is tackled by Michael Keats. Seven to one for the red team. Tyreek Starks. Starts with the ball, hands it off. Oh, it's a fake. He got me there. And it is caught. Not a great pass, but it is caught by Joseph Young. Joseph Young gets a about 20-yard game into the white team's territory. Ball will be on the white team's 40, first and 10 year. First and 10 from the 29 of the white. Starks hands it off. It shields Duden who gets stopped. He gets a yard. Here comes Stark. Starks looking left. Oh, incomplete there. Intended for number 18, Grant Bradley. And it is tipped up by Antonio Smith. Frencher. Out on the sideline, coming in is Starks. To his left is Caden Shield Student. Three, four wide receivers set. And he's looking right. He finds his guy in the slot in the end zone, and it is incomplete. 
and it was intended for Omari Hayes, who already has a touchdown. That'll bring up fourth down for this FAU football team. Forty-seven yard field goal here. The kick is up and it is good. It is Robert Hamden the third who makes the forty seven yarder ten to one. First and ten for the white team. Ten two one for the red team. Rancher hands it off. Oh, there's a gap for Terrell. Xavier Terrell gets a gain of 10. Seven yard gain on the play there. Here comes Francher. Hands the ball off to Xavier Terrell, who gets a gain on the play. First down, white team. And it looks like Cam Brancher is coming off the field, as well as a couple of some other players. Is it a timeout there? We don't know. End of the quarter. We don't know. What is just happening? I'm gonna update the graphics real quick on the stream. Sorry, guys, just updating the helmets. There's nothing going on. I promise you're not missing anything. First and 10 with the white team. Okay, back to action. Camp Ranger throwing deep, almost intercepted there.
Second down, it is incomplete, almost intercepted. 46 yard line. Francher to his left is doing. Francher passes it. It is caught by Marlon Johnson. That'll be a gain of six into red team territory. Third down and four, Francher looking. Francher taking off himself, and he gets a first down. First down, red team. First and 10 at the 40. Francher taking the snap behind him is Jeremy Miney Sand. He completes a pass. It's Melon Tucker. One yard gain on the play. So right now, it looks like Camp Francher has been the better quarterback of the two. Ben Starks, though, here comes Francher. It's a screen. It's Germani stands who goes and takes it about 10 yards. So I think Caden Shields Dutton has been the guy in the running back game that's impressed me the most, but that's just me, you know. So, you know, it's, it's everyone's opinion, so. I think that uh, Zuberi Mobley, I mean, obviously he's going to be the guy. But I think it's it should be Shields in second as a freshman. And then Terrell and then Sands. It's a fake handoff. The pass is caught by Millen Tucker, who we've already seen get a 42-yard touchdown. Tucker, Milan, Tucker gets to about a two-yard gain there. He is tackled by Shizum Efioni. White team first down. And Germani Sands gets about three yards on that. That's an ambush with the tackle. 10 1 for the red team. Cam Frazier takes the snap, hands the ball off to Germani Sands, who gets about four. Jerquez Lee gets the tackle for the red team. It's a two-yard gain. Third down and five from the red team's nine. So they're in enemy territory here. Brancher, he looks for Xavier Terrell on the out route who can't get the catch. 
That'll bring up fourth down and five, which will bring out Morgan Suarez to kick about a 26-yarder here. Suarez lining up the kick. And kick is good. Morgan Suarez. Twenty seven yard field goal there. You see some people in the chat. Don Grishis says, Hey Owls fans, what's up, Don? That'll make it 10 to 4. Ten four for the red team. Second quarter here. French are gonna take the snap. Looks like there are four wide receivers set in this while you have Amari Hayes. Francher going to give a handoff. It's an open lane, and it is Zuberi Mobley who gets a gain of five. Four-yard gain on the play for Zuberi Mobley. Francher. Taking the snap here. Cam Francher to his right is Mobley. Francher, fake jet sweep, handoff to Mobley. Mobley makes a man miss and gets about two on there. Third down and four. Third and three here. Here comes Francher. Throws the ball. Pass is complete. Caleb Combs with the catch for the red team. Frencher pass is incomplete. It was intended for Caleb Coombs. Zaron Skinner breaks up the pass. That was a deep, that was a four vert trap. Ball is on the red the red team's oh uh ball is on the white team's forty five. Second and ten at the white's forty six. Francher takes the snap. Francher to his right is Mo Zuberi Mobley. And he throws a screen to Amari Hayes. He gets about a gain of two. <clears throat> gain of two on the play. Third down and ten. At the FAU's, at the white team's 46-yard line. Cam Francher about to take the snap. To his right is Uberi Mobley. Four wide receivers set with Hayes being the guy to look out for. He throws the ball, it's complete, and it is caught by Carson Coover. It is caught by, sorry, Jason Platt. Jay Sean Platt. There's two number three wide receivers, so it, and they look pretty similar, so it's hard to tell which one is which. Ooh. 
We're down in four here. From the 40. Francher takes his snap. Looks left. Francher takes off himself and gets caught. Here comes Starks. Starks to take the snap. Behind him, I believe that's Caden Shields' student who gets tackled up with the loss of one. Caitlin Walker, sorry. Highly offensive game so far, though it's only 10-4. There hasn't really been any picks. Second down and 11, Tyreek Starks. I'm going to take the snap here. Kayan Walker is the running back. Starks fakes the handoff. He looks, he's going deep, and the ref throws a flag. There's a holding. It's holding on the defense. Yeah, it's holding on the defense. First down and 10 for the white team. Tyreek Starks going to take the snap. It's again Keen Walker to his right. Starks in shotgun. Oh, it's a jet sweep. He gives it to his guy, Amari Hayes. He makes him in, miss, and gets tackled up. Only a unit two there. Good sweep there for the red team. Two-yard gain on the play. Again, both the quarterbacks haven't done anything to stand out from each other. They're both just keeping it even. If Starks can make a play on this drive, I think Starks may want to be the guy. Starks fakes the handoff. Starks passes. It's complete. And it's a big gain there. Starks with a gain of 15. It's a completed pass. To Donick Henry. White team first down. First and ten from the thirty. Starks. Starks, he takes the snap. He hands off, but it's gonna be a full start. The handoff was intended for Joshua. Harriet. <laughs> 